Microsoft Flight Simulator is one of the most demanding games ever released. And now you can play it on your phone? That's right, with the magic of cloud gaming, you can now play Microsoft Flight Sim on pretty much any device, as long as your internet connection is good enough. So today we'll be seeing exactly how good of an experience playing Microsoft Flight Sim can be on such a tiny screen, and not to mention using hardware that's halfway across the globe. Okay, and here we are going straight into it. I am honestly very, very curious as to how it's gonna go. Seeing how well you need a lot more buttons than what is present here just to play Flight Sim. The um, load times also are pretty awful. Okay, so let's go from a busy airport like Heathrow because apparently I hate myself. I haven't looked at any of the um, tutorials or anything on how to even do this thing on controller. I know how to on keyboard. And okay, I really hate this. The text is so small, I can like barely read it. I have to like get this close to actually read a text. That is, yeah, that is not good. And again, I have no idea what buttons do anything. And it's not giving me any like tutorial hints as well. So, um, yeah. Okay, here I can toggle flight assistance. So I'm gonna set everything to auto for now. And then hopefully, I can at least figure out how to take off by myself. Oh wait, I'm- what? I'm already taking off. Okay, so that's like proper, you know, AI mode. I want to have like some input though, so can I at least turn off this? And hopefully now, I can figure out how to- oh, there it is, there it is. Hi, it's a d-pad. It's always the- hi, 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 no. And I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> well, that didn't last long. I'm already not a fan of the controller mapping they have going on here. Because if you are trying to, you know, steer a plane, what kind of input would you instinctively go for on a beautiful Xbox controller like this one? If you say the joystick, then congratulations, you're a sane person. If you say the D-pad, then you're not sane. You're insane, as some would say. Okay, I can see the propeller is going, but how enough to disengage brakes or something? Oh, oh, hey, okay. Oh, we're going. And do I just pull down on D-pad? Is that enough? Up on the D-pad. Left, right on the D-pad. Oop, I'm losing speed now. <laughs> I think I'm going to be running out of runway soon. Oh, oh, wait, what? Now I'm using the joystick. Then how do I switch between having? But then a second ago. I was using the joystick to use the menu. So how on earth do I switch between when it's using the menu and... I am so confused. But whatever. We are in the air. We are flying. And we are above London Heathrow. Sweet! Graphically, this is looking mighty impressive. I mean, one benefit of playing on such a small screen is that, you know, the details, you can't even really notice them. So from here, it looks fine. The frame rate is also like... A solid, you know, 60 FPS. Again, I don't know anyone who would want to enjoy such an immersive game on such a tiny screen, but if you have something at least a tad bigger, like say a tablet, then you know, I'd say this would be worth it. Okay, let's just let's try and head towards uh, like downtown London and see how things will change there. Okay, so we are heading east right now, which should be towards uh, central London. I would love to be able to. Uh, switch to third person cam but i have no idea what button that would be okay let's see if i can at least locate somewhere like london city and see if i can land there if i can land there on such a small screen even if it is with like almost total autopilot i'll be proud of myself only question is i have no idea how i get to city airport from where i am now actually no there's a tiny map there oh but okay lesson learned do not let go of the uh right trigger otherwise everything will disintegrate around you as i was saying before i was really interrupted there's a map down there that shows us where we are and why are you still not going left go left go up and left <laughs> and a crash into a condo so surprisingly the experience was way better than i imagined even though naturally this isn't the intended experience microsoft flight sim is supposed to be one of those super immersive games that are better played on a giant monitor or even better, in VR. This isn't really either, and even on a tablet, the experience won't be as good as on a massive monitor, even if you do have the hardware to 
actually in the game right away. But alternatively, nothing is stopping you from playing the game on your PC either. Simply go on the Xbox Cloud Gaming website, select Microsoft Flight Sim, and boom, you're playing Flight Simulator on your normal setup, but via the cloud instead of using your PC. So if you want to play the game at your desk, but you just simply don't have the horsepower in your PC to run it, well, that would be one amazing solution. But let me know what you think of all of this down in the comments below. I'm very curious to see what exactly you think of Flight Sim being available on cloud gaming. And if you want to help support this channel so we can make more awesome videos in the future then the best way to do that is to support us on patreon also check out our merch store and our amazon links all of which are going to be down in the video description below and speaking of our patreon i'd also love to thank my existing patrons Gavin burns ryan okb max sumner shane allcroft lansby con gauge clothing and jesse hubman thank you guys so so much which truly goes a long way danny also going to find our discord server if you want to talk to me or others at this or whatever else really Plus, down there's our social media links as well. But anyway, that's what it's. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Good. Bye.